This is the world's leading battery technology company. It builds the best batteries in the world. Indeed, CATL is the world's biggest maker of electric vehicle batteries. Worldwide, it has almost a 40% share of the lithium-ion battery market. Katiel, the Chinese battery giant, has become the center of attention in the energy world. Whenever the company announces a breakthrough, it usually delivers. This track record makes their latest invention, the condensed battery, something worth looking at very closely. It is inspired by nature, designed with biomimicry, and could make solid-state batteries unnecessary. For years, scientists and automakers have treated solid-state batteries as the holy grail. They promised lighter packs, longer ranges, and safer operation. Billions of dollars have gone into research, yet real products are still not here. Solid-state batteries are always five years away. Cattell may have found a way to leap past them, solving the problems Solid State was meant to fix, without the drawbacks. Since its founding, Cattell has grown at an incredible pace. In just over a decade, it has become the world's largest supplier of EV batteries. It supplies Tesla, BMW, Volkswagen, Volvo, and many other global names. The company is known for pushing forward energy density, safety, and lifespan. Every new generation of its batteries seems to raise the bar. The condensed battery is the latest, and perhaps the most disruptive yet. To understand why, we need to look at the core of all batteries – the anode, cathode, and electrolyte. These three parts form the system that stores and releases energy. The anode releases electrons, the cathode accepts them, and the electrolyte lets lithium ions move between the two. Change any one of these, and you can change the battery's performance. Katiel has been redesigning all three. Solid-state batteries were supposed to be revolutionary because they allowed a different anode material, lithium metal. Normally, batteries use graphite anodes. Graphite is stable, but heavy and limited. Lithium metal is lighter, holds more energy, and allows higher voltages. In short, lithium metal anodes can double the energy stored in a battery. That is why so many researchers have chased them. But lithium metal has a problem. Dendrites. These are needle-like structures that grow from the anode during charging. If dendrites get too big, they pierce the electrolyte, cause short circuits, and make the battery fail. Solid electrolytes were thought to be the solution. They were meant to act like armor, stopping dendrites from breaking through. The problem is that real-world tests show solid electrolytes are not perfect shields. Dendrites can still find weak spots, just like roots pushing through a road. This is where KTL's condensed battery changes the story. Instead of relying on a brittle, solid electrolyte, it uses a biomimetic electrolyte interface. This interface forms naturally during the first charge. It is made of polymers that arrange themselves into a tough, flexible barrier. The design copies structures found in living cells. One side of each polymer strand is drawn to lithium, while the other is pushed away. The result is a self-organizing wall. Think of it as a row of soldiers locking arms, holding back dendrites before they can cause damage. Because of this interface, Cattell can finally use lithium metal anodes safely. That is the key breakthrough. It means the condensed battery can deliver the same or better energy density as solid-state designs, but without the expensive and fragile solid electrolytes. In other words, the main advantage of solid-state may no longer be needed. Cattell has not stopped there. The company has also reimagined the anode structure in some of its other systems. The Shengxing Plus battery uses a honeycomb anode design. This can exist at the microscopic or atomic scale. At the microscopic level, the honeycomb pattern increases surface area. More surface area means lithium ions can move in and out faster, improving charging speed. The gaps also give the anode space to expand slightly, reducing stress and slowing aging. At the atomic scale, carbon atoms are arranged in a honeycomb network. Strong bonds keep the structure rigid even as lithium flows in. This stops swelling and prevents cracks, making the battery last longer. The result is a pack that can charge very quickly without breaking down. Kettle has said, Shengxing Plus batteries can give cars over 1,000 kilometers of range and recharge in minutes. Another system, called Tenor, is designed for the grid. 
Cattle claims it can show no measurable degradation for the first five years. For renewable energy storage, that is a massive improvement. Solar and wind projects depend on batteries that can last decades without constant replacement. If Tenor lives up to its promise, it could cut costs and speed up clean energy adoption. The condensed battery builds on both of these ideas. It combines the self-assembling protective layer with high-energy cathodes and a gel-based electrolyte. This electrolyte is not a hard solid, but it allows the special interface to form. It provides both conductivity and strength. The exact cathode material has not been fully revealed, but experts expect high nickel or similar chemistries to be used in long-range vehicles. The results are impressive. Cattle reports energy densities of around 500 watt-hours per kilogram. That is about twice what Tesla's 4,680 cells currently offer. With that density, electric cars could travel much farther on a single charge. More importantly, aircraft could be powered by batteries without huge weight penalties. Cattle has even said these condensed cells are already in operation in large passenger aircraft at a demonstration scale. If true, this would be the first real step way toward electric aviation at scale. Planes need lightweight, high energy packs, and until now, no battery could meet the bar. The condensed battery might change that. So how does this compare with competitors? Companies like Toyota and QuantumScape have invested heavily in solid state. They promise higher safety and density, but mass production remains uncertain. Panasonic, LG and Samsung are improving lithium-ion designs, but still depend on graphite anodes. Tesla's 4680 cells are a major advance in cost and production, yet their energy density is far behind KTL's claim. If KTL's condensed battery works as described, it leapfrogs them all. The wider impact could be huge. Electric cars with 1,000 kilometers of range could end range anxiety for good. Aircraft could cut emissions and noise. Grid storage could become cheaper and longer lasting. Even consumer electronics could benefit, with laptops and phones lasting far longer between charges. It is also worth noting the practical advantage. Scaling. Solid-state batteries face big hurdles in manufacturing. Solid electrolytes are hard to make, sensitive to pressure, and expensive. Cattle's approach, by contrast, uses gel-based electrolytes and interfaces that form naturally. That could make mass production simpler. In an industry where cost and scalability decide winners, this matters as much as the science. Skepticism is still healthy. Catiel has made bold statements before, and while they often deliver, details are not always immediate. Independent tests, large-scale deployments, and years of use will be needed to prove the condensed battery's reliability. Aviation regulators in particular will demand strict safety checks. But unlike many research projects, Cattell is already showing operational systems, not just lab samples. The story of KTL is remarkable. In a short time, it has risen from a little-known Chinese company to the world's battery leader. By supplying Tesla, BMW, Volkswagen, and others, it already powers millions of cars. Now, with condensed batteries, it may set the direction for the next decade of energy storage. Solid state may still find a role, research will continue, and other companies will not stop. But the dream was never really about the solid electrolyte. It was always about unlocking lithium metal anodes. Katil seems to have found another path to that goal, one that might already be ready for the real world. The next one to two years will be critical. If Ketel scales production and partners start shipping vehicles or planes with the condensed batteries, it could mark the turning point. Solid state might go from future technology to a unnecessary detour. The condensed battery, with its self-assembling defenses and biomimicry-inspired chemistry, represents more than just another upgrade. It represents a possible shift in how humans store and use energy. From cars to planes to the grid, it could redefine what is possible. For now, the world waits to see if KTL can once again deliver on its promises. If history is any guide, they just might.